I am back by very popular demand with another Hello Fresh unboxing. This is an unsponsored, unbiased, not affiliated with the company at all review. So if you're interested in Hello Fresh, you want to know more, then keep on watching. I actually got a box that is pretty banged up, so I'm excited to dig in and see what's inside of here. In case you've never seen me before, my name is Zoe, and I post here on YouTube twice a week about beauty, fashion, fitness, and lifestyle, as well as some food unboxings. So if you like any of those things, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I'm also working on a massive beauty and wellness giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe so you can see when that happens. I did a HelloFresh unboxing a few months ago on this channel and you guys seem to love it and you also had a ton of questions. So in this video, I'm going to be diving in a little deeper. I won't really show you how it works. So if you want to see how it works, go ahead and click over to my other video after this one. I'll leave it in the description box if you're interested. But this video, we're going to dig a little deeper, answer a lot of the questions that you guys had and just get into HelloFresh in general. As I said, this box came pretty banged up. Usually the boxes are okay. I don't know what happened this time. Something in the mail, but I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I've been doing HelloFresh for about nine or 10 months now. My boyfriend and I currently get it delivered every other week. We get three meals a week for the two of us. And then we also do the pork free option. So when you get it, you open up the box and you have this little bubble mailer inside. And then right on top, you get your recipe cards as well as like always some little bonuses. They call them delicious deals. So inside of here, they always send something. Honestly, I never really use it. This one is like a kid's thing. This one says fresh from Florida. I really never use them. I usually just toss them away. Here's the three meal cards. So what I like a lot is that each one of these is its own recipe. So you have the three meals here. And then on the front, it shows you what it is. And on the back, we have the recipe. So this week we have homestyle chicken and biscuit pot pie, chicken sausage, cavatappi, Oh God, someone Italian is going <laughs> to get me on that one. Bolognese and beef and cheese tostadas. So those are our three meals for the week. And then you can see inside here we have little paper bags. So each one of these bags is one recipe. So you see here on the label, it says what it is. And we get the three little baggies. Basically what I do whenever I receive this is stick it in the fridge right away. So I'll stick these three bags in the fridge. Then at the very, very bottom here, we have an ice pack and then we have the meat. So in this one we have chicken and then we also have sweet Italian chicken sausage. So these I usually will just stick in the fridge as well, but I'll stick them in a little plastic bag because I have had them leak on me before. And then here is the ground beef. So I usually just grab like a Ziploc bag, like I just said, and I stick all of the meat in here. I've had the packs leak like all over the fridge before, which is not great. So I've learned from my mistakes and I just stick them in here and then stick this whole thing of meat in the fridge. So inside the bottom, there's always like another cardboard thing. These ice packs say you can recycle them. Someone commented on my last video and said that they reuse them. My freezer, as you can probably tell, like we're here in a little New York City apartment, my freezer is not big enough, so I just cut these open, drain them, and then toss them. This little bubble part mailer also just gets tossed. Um, maybe someone could find a use to reuse it, but for me, I just toss it. One of the big things that I did talk about in my last video is waste, and it does feel like a ton of waste compared to when you go to the grocery store. One thing though that is really good about HelloFresh is it completely gets rid of food waste. So usually it's really hard for me to cook for just two people and there's leftovers. Sometimes we eat it, sometimes we don't because we don't like leftovers or it goes bad. For this, like everything is in here, it's perfectly portioned for two people and nothing is getting thrown out. So we're getting rid of a lot of the food waste that we would normally create. Another thing to note is that the portion size is fairly small. So it depends on how much you're used to eating. I'm used to eating a really big dinner. I eat lightly throughout the day and then want a massive, massive dinner. Some of these are bigger portions than others and you can see on the bottom the calorie size for one serving but it's not like a massive American dinner, which is what I am 
used to. What I'm gonna do now is toss this all in the fridge and then we can sit down and chat a little bit more about HelloFresh and then I'm gonna make one of these recipes tonight with you guys and show you how everything kind of works. All right, everything is in the fridge. I have some notes here on my phone that I'm gonna go through with you guys so that I get everything correct and don't mess up on anything. So as I said, I've been doing HelloFresh for about nine or 10 months. We've been doing it every other week since then. I have done HelloFresh two times before and then canceled and then this time it has really stuck and my boyfriend and I have really enjoyed doing HelloFresh this time. We do the pork free option for two people and we currently get three meals every other week and the total is $62.93 per box. So it's $8.99 per serving and then they actually just increased their shipping costs. It used to be $6.99, now you pay $8.99 for shipping. As I said, there are smaller portion sizes and someone did comment that they reused the ice packs. Someone also said that it's worth the huge discount you get the first month but not after that. So that's definitely something to think about. Always, always there's a discount so you can get like your first 10 meals free, your first box free. There's always discounts like that so look out for those. I did one of those discounts but then I kept it because I loved it. But if you get it and you hate it, you can definitely cancel it if you choose to. One thing that I actually really enjoy is that you can save the recipes if you enjoy them. So they have them online or I usually just snap a picture with my phone of the little card that you get. This way you can make it again. You do have to go out, buy all the ingredients and do all that, but it is nice to know that you have the recipe and you've tried it and you can make it again. One thing I found really interesting from their website is that they actually say that they are cheaper than the grocery store. So they said that they completed a 10 week price comparison study and discovered that HelloFresh is 75% cheaper than grocery shopping. One reason that they say that is that they go directly to the suppliers so you don't have to go through the middleman and the grocery store. They also say they keep it seasonal so you get the most bang for your buck and it's pre-portioned so there's no food waste. That's pretty much it when it comes to HelloFresh. If you have any questions, definitely comment them down below. I also do want to try out other meal delivery services so if there's any that you think I should try out, let me know again in the comments because I do want to do a little series and try out a bunch of different food subscription services and see which one I like the best. So let me know down below which ones I should try out. It's time to go back to work for the rest of the day so I will see you guys when it is time to start cooking. Many hours later. Time for dinner. I tossed my hair up and put a t-shirt on because it's probably going to get fairly hot in here when we start the oven. I did take a look at the recipes and I think I want to make one that I've actually already made before and it's the home style chicken and biscuit pot pie. This one is really, really good. It is one of the ones that we actually picked for this week. So when you go on the website, you can pick and select the recipes. This one we've had before and it was delicious. So I wanna make it again. The prep time for this one is 10 minutes. The cook time is 15 minutes. And then it says it's 780 calories. So I'm gonna pull everything out that we're gonna need now and get started. So all that you need to start is your little recipe card. You have the meat or fish or whatever it is. Sometimes you don't have one if it is like a vegetarian recipe. Then you have the little bag that everything comes in. I consider myself kind of a pro in the kitchen, but my boyfriend Josh also cooks some nights. It's pretty um, dummy proof if I do say so myself. So in here we have a little bag of thyme. Then we also have some celery. We have the biscuits, one onion. Then it looks like we have flour and cream cheese, a little chicken stock, two carrots and some more chicken stock. So this bag is now empty and I'm gonna put it I almost want the carrot. I'm gonna put it to be recycled. So now that you see how everything comes, if um, you heard me talking about waste before, this is kind of what I'm referring to. So you do have like these little plastic bags that everything's coming in. For the flour, like it's coming in these little tiny little packets. Flour is something, for instance, that I buy in bulk and I already have, but it does come like this in here. I know that when you are going to the grocery store, you know, if you're picking up celery, you're usually putting it in a plastic bag. I try to avoid that as much as possible and then also bring my own like reusable grocery bags when I do go to the grocery store. But this is all that you're gonna need for the meal for two people and it's time to get started. I'll probably just like fast forward and show you guys the cooking and then check back in with you guys when it is all done. 
because it'll be pretty boring to sit here and just watch me cut a bunch of things. So let's go ahead and cook. I'm hungry. Um, it got really late somehow, so I'm ready for this. Okay, here's what my gorgeous little prep board looks like. There is what theirs looks like, so pretty similar. And now we're ready to start cooking. here we have the final product it looks so beautiful it won't look as pretty once I pull it out of the pan so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like and then here is what it looks like on the little menu card so you can see it's fairly similar it never looks as pretty as it does on the card but there is what it looks like all right here is the not so pretty look on the plate and it's time to eat moved into the bedroom literally sitting on the bed right now because i ran the dishwasher and then was like oh wait you won't be able to hear me so anyway here we are in the bedroom i am stuffed that is a recipe that fills me up and is like a full meal for me other meals are not so much you'll get like a tiny little portion of rice and i'm used to like a decent amount of rice or pasta or whatever it is and you only really have like one bowl whereas sometimes i'll go back for two or three bowls i eat a lot if you like haven't gotten that already but this one makes a ton you can see it's like a full pan so you get a ton of food and i am completely full after that meal Something definitely to consider is that it is just like a one meal type thing, unless you're um, just one person getting a meal for two people. With the two of us, we just divide straight between it and then eat it and we don't have any leftovers or anything like that. As far as the cost, I like to look at it as if we both went to Chipotle. So Chipotle bowls are like seven to $10, I think last time I was there, it's like that. And this is $9 per person, per serving. So that's kind of how I like to look at it. It's like as if we went to Chipotle and it's definitely cheaper, however, than ordering out if we were to do like Grubhub or Uber Eats, way, way cheaper than that. Slightly more expensive than going to the grocery store. But again, like this past week, I threw out a ton of stuff that had gone bad just because we never really got around to it or I made a big thing of pasta and then we never ate it. So something to consider, it is slightly more expensive but does cut back on food waste. Overall, I really, really enjoy HelloFresh. I've been doing it for over nine months and paying the 60 whatever dollars every other week for it. So definitely something that I personally enjoy. As I mentioned, I do wanna try out more food delivery services. So if there's any that you want me to try that you love or that you've seen online, let me know in the comments down below so I can try them out and see if they're worth it or not. I know Blue Apron is one that is kind of on my radar as well as Green Chef. So maybe I'll try those out in a future video. Definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It really, really does help me out. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But for now, that is all from me and I hope you guys have an amazing day.